So, where's the pool? This is to the lobby. This is to nowhere. And that's to nowhere as well as a payphone that we used to trick that girl. We were really mean to her. I especially felt bad about that girl here because she was so... She was innocent. She was really naive and innocent and this felt bad taking advantage of her more than the others. I mean, some of them seemed like, I don't know, they could take it. I think if she ever found out that I manipulated her like that, I think that she would be, it would, that would break her down. She's one of those p people that if she was bullied enough in school, she that would be like really mental issues. Let's uh, I guess we should go in here. This is the first time we've been inside the building. So this is going to be exciting. Maybe we will meet some of the others in here. I can't even remember most of their names. I don't know that they did not. I feel like they should be more part of the game. Then I would remember them better. Uh oh. This looks incredibly bigger in here than it did from the outside. Wow. Um. Wait, what? I know I want to talk to him. Hello. Um. What am I doing? It's in Paul's Cathedral. Oh. Uh, my ID. Probably. Yeah. Here's my ID. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's take a look. That's not my name, by the way. Eleanor. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> beautiful name. Beautiful girl. Thank you. Seems to me we've got another Helena in residence. Um, Let me see. Just ignore Don't bother. that. I know her. Red hair? <laughs> nice girl. Can I go up now? I'm running late. <laughs> Aren't they all? Go up then. Undergrad wing only, though. That way, only grads are allowed up on their side. No, I want to go oh, to the all right. pool. There's always a hierarchy, miss. Way of the world, isn't it? But I need to go to the pool. Let's want this. Well, this is a residence board, so I can check out where that girl lives. Jeannie Smith is a girl who was at the pool last yeah. night. I wonder if she talked to me. Wait, does someone call Curry? Oh, wait, it's other way around. I thought that was the first, the first name, Curry. Still, mm, Boris Malik. Very uh, a lot of international students here, like uh, Malik Mokha and. Boris Hans, Kelly O'Burn, no that's not <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Jeannie Smith, she's right there. And she is an undergraduate, that's good. Jeannie Smith is a girl who was at the pool last night. I wonder if she talked to me. Probably. Wait, was there someone Jeannie called John Smith Doe? Jeannie Smith is a girl who was at oh. the pool last night. Grace Doe. I wonder if she <laughs> talked to me. Okay, Helena, we can go talk to Helena as well, she's in... 102. Let's see if I can remember some of the other people's names. Jane Williams, I think she was one of them. Grace Doe might have been one. I'm not sure. Kelly Kel Kel O'Byrne, was that the uh, one of them? I think there was an Irish girl. There were the, the innocent one. Or maybe she just had like a, a thick accent. I don't know, but I remember Helena mostly because I, I, I now have her name. So let's uh, let's see if we can go. T can I talk to this guy? I don't have anything to ask him at the moment. Guess not. Let's see if we can go to the pool. We probably can, but I wanna just uh, check it out. He'll probably stop us or something. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid of that text. <laughs> Oh, we can go to the pool. Okay. Uh, this looks nice. Nice water effect. It's not purple. The pool looks normal now. That's right. Guess we can talk to the pool cleaner. Flip flops with socks. He looks more like a German tourist than a pool man. <laughs> wow, that was kind of offensive. But okay, let's talk to him. You had to do a little. T 
turn first, of course. Hi there. I see the pool is back to its usual color today. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get the dye out? Well, whatever was in there, filters got it out by morning. Did anyone take a sample of the water while it was stained? What a fault. Um, to analyze it? It don't matter. It's out now. Yeah, that scientific inquiry thing is highly overrated. Okay, he looked kind of dorky. No offense. But hey, hey, I wasn't done. Or maybe I was, I don't know. Did you notice any sign of tampering with the pool controls? Maybe evidence of someone putting something in the input system? No. Wow. That's helpful. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my god! I think, I think there's something wrong with this man. Let's see what we have here. That's the filter. I might have some clues. Oh. I have to actually look at it. I was, I, th I thought it was like a cutscene kind of thing. Okay. Are these filters the new ones? No, I've just installed the new ones. Those are for the bin. Were these filters in the pool when the water was stained? Yeah. Okay, let's take them. The filters don't have dye stains. Maybe water-soluble dye wouldn't leave a trace. Hmm. The filters don't have dye stains. Maybe water-soluble dye wouldn't leave a trace. But can I take them? That's the question. Do I have any kind of science stuff on me? Can I do a trick? <laughs> The filters don't... Okay. Uh. The sides of the pool are clean. I don't see any residue left by the dye. It wasn't necessarily dye. It could have been blood. I don't know. I, I, I guess it turned it purple, so I guess it wouldn't be blood. I don't know. Maybe the, the water and the chlorine uh, kind of had a chemical reaction turning the blood purple. I... I have no idea how that stuff works, but... The clock was stopped at 11.42. That's about when the incident occurred. Nifty trick. <laughs> I wouldn't want those guys staring at me while I worked out. Yeah. Okay, so... it's another statue here. That looks like a statue I saw in Copenhagen. Sort of. Is she talking about the little mermaid? I... I guess hmm well, let's actually get rid of that we don't need to carry that around I don't think they, uh, there's going to be other people wanting to see some ID so yeah that was the pool I'm thinking we probably need something to uh, find out about the die so the gymnasium is over here I don't see uh, no point in going there just yet, but maybe we will go there later. Let's head upstairs to the undergraduate and talk to Jeannie. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot what number she was in. I remember that Helena was in 102. Maybe we could talk to her, because she was part of the... What the hell is, hap is happening here? I mean, Helena was part of the experiment. She's right in here. Uh, so she might actually have something interesting to say. Nail polish, that's what they put in the water. Nail polish. Okay, great talking to you. A roll of toilet paper and nail polish. Home manicure, perhaps? That sounds like it might be it. What do we have here? A crest? I think that's St. Edmund Hall's crest. That would make sense, since we are at St. Edmund Hall. Let's look at this paint bucket. Someone's been busy. Guess it's break time. I don't get it. Someone's painting the wall yellow. That means it's break time. Let's go talk to Helena. <laughs> we can just walk in, I guess. No knocking. Helena? Oh. Helena? Try knocking. No one's home. 
Wow, that's what I always do when I go visit friends. I just stand outside and sh say their name. Not even shouting it, just... Helena? Not that I have any friends called Helena. No, actually I do. Okay, I can go to 106. And I can go there. Let's actually, just for fuck's sake, go back and see who lives where. 106 you can go into, so let's see who's there, and also let's find out where Genie lives. I don't want to check, like, all doors. At least not to begin with, just like I didn't want to go there to begin with. I'll probably go there eventually, because I like to explore. Jeannie Smith is a girl who was at the pool oh, last night. It was I wonder if she talked to me. Let's see, we have... I think Jane Williams? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Roberta. Roberta was one of them, right? Ah, I guess Sonny? Sonny. That name seemed familiar, Sonny Lewis. That might be the Irish girl, who might not be Irish. Harvey. Oh god, I'm just saying names. Harvey is a great movie, by the way. I think I have it on DVD. Oh, I do. About a man and his big invisible rabbit. It's an amazing movie with Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> I always think of that movie when I hear the word Harvey. Because it's a great movie. And Jimmy Stewart is one of the best actors who ever lived. Is this plastic? Oh, probably. See? That's how you knock on a door. Yes? Hi, Jeannie Smith? Yes. Hi, I'm Sam. I heard about what happened last night. I know I don't know you, but I wanted to ask you about the pool, if that's all right. Are you a reporter or something? No, I'm actually worried about a friend of mine. Can I come in? I guess it's all right. Cool. Okay, so... You said you were worried about a friend? Yeah. My friend is kind of a well-meaning prankster. I'm worried that this might be his doing. I'm really hoping not, but I wanted to hear more about it. I don't know anything about your friend, but I can tell you this was not a prank. Are you all right? Yes, sorry. That's okay. Okay, she, she likes football. I mean, soccer. Well, actually, I mean football. That's what it's called, after all. Soccer players, I guess. And swimmers. Someone loves the bulky guys. It's called football. Soccer player. Uh, well, I guess she is American, so... But still, it makes more sense to call it football. <laughs> I mean, if you look at American football, you hardly use your feet at all. And why name it after something that already exists? I mean, imagine if someone made some kind of thing you could go around on, like, with pedals, and chose to call it a bicycle. Even though it has nothing to do with the thing that already exists called a bicycle. It's kind of stupid. I'm pretty sure they have some of those in their gymnasium. A jock's room, no doubt. Mm, I have not been down to the gymnasium. Also, I mean, look at f American football. It looks more like rugby than it does football. Or maybe calling it rugby or something similar to rugby. I don't know. Look at this. Pants. Uh, any film more I can look at? Cups. Apparently, there are no amateurs. Uh, okay, talk time. Hey, what happened? Can you tell me exactly what happened? I was getting ready to get into the pool. I was putting on my cap and thinking about something else. A paper that's due. Suddenly, the hair on my arm stood up. The air got very dry, almost as if the air was filled with electricity. I looked around, trying to figure out what it was. And then I saw it. In the water. It was awful. Uh, who, uh, what did you see? What did you see in the water? No one believes me. I can't even describe it. Can you try? I'll believe you. There was... It was like a shape under the water. You know how water is displaced when there's something moving through it? 
Only, there was nothing there. It was a human form, in the water, but it wasn't there. God, I know it sounds insane, but it was evil. I felt it. I'll never go near that pool again. I don't even want to be in this building anymore. I want to go home. Okay, goodbye then. No. Uh, who was there? How many people were in the pool at the time? Just two girls, swimming. They were already in the water when I got there. I... I yelled at them to get out. Hmm. Did you know them? I've seen them swimming before. Look, they had nothing to do with it. They were as terrified as I was. Uh, die in the pool? The shape in the water. Could it have been dye being pumped into the pool? It was dyed purple according to the paper. No, that happened later. I saw the shape go all the way to the far end and then turn around. Just like a swimmer doing laps. And then the water slowly changed color. Like this thing, this presence was staining it. I'll never forget it as long as I live. I wonder if someone died in the pool, like in the past. I guess we can maybe go to the library and something like that. Find out? Maybe? I don't know. What time did it happen? What time did this happen? I left to go down there about 11.30. It wasn't long after that. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about it anymore. That's cool. Thanks for being honest with me. Listen, it's none of my business. But you mentioned leaving school. Don't do that. Do you know how lucky you are to be going to this school? Seriously? I know you were scared. But I'm sure this was a prank. Even if it was a sophisticated one. It wasn't aimed at you. You just happened to be there. Don't let it ruin an opportunity like this. It's so not worth it. I know you're right. Thanks. Truly. I'll see you. She's a wise person. Sam. I like her. I like Sam. She's really... She's really awesome. Someone you... is rigging these tricks, and it's starting to piss me off. Well, it's not going to happen again. Tonight's experiment takes place in the gym at St. Edmund Hall. I'm going to be there, and I'm going to catch whoever's doing this. I'm... Answer it. Hi, this is Sam. St. Edmund Hall Quad, now, Chiquita. Uh, sure. Be right there. I guess they heard. Uh, that was Helena, I believe. I'm going this way first. <laughs> I don't care. I want to see what's here. I'm not done exploring. Helena will just have to wait. There's some people here. Oh, look at this. Uh oh. What's happening? <laughs> I'm out. I'm not contributing any more to your tuition today, sir. Your luck was just turning. Forget it. I'll be late for class. Why is it that British people always sound so polite? Uh, well, some of them. Other accents, no matter what they say, they say uh, they sound horribly rude. <laughs> uh, okay, that's the open door, that's a closed door. And there's this guy. And there's this awesome poster. Student party on Friday night at the Windy Dog. I've been there. It's a door. Look at it, it's 204. That rhymed, a door, 204. I can go further up, it seems. Charles, it's me, Sam. Or not. Wait. Either it is you or it isn't. You can't, <laughs> can't just say that. Uh, let's check out this door. It's open. Whoa. Uh, that's the bolt of the lock. That's correct. The lock bolt is controlled by the knob. I think if it's set correctly, the door won't lock when you close it. Oh. If I set if I set this correctly, the door won't lock. If I set then do it. But I guess I don't really have a A girl traveling on her own needs 
Uh, maybe I should need a tool to do this? No? I'm guessing I don't really have a, a, a purpose of doing that, so that's why she can't do it. Let's look at this guy. I don't need to talk to him right now. Okay. I uh, guess we'll head up one more floor. Let's go to that. Uh, before going out into the quad. Because I think they are a little pissed, the lab, uh, lambs. They don't like being called lab rats. There's another guy. I don't need to talk to him right now. Ah, well, fuck you then. Oh, something here. Wait, what's this? That might lead over to the graduate wing. But an alarm will sound if I open it. Guess I'm not urgently in need of getting over there today. That's true. <laughs> Would be awesome if Helena called again, <laughs> yelling at me. Where the fuck are you? I can't do her accent. I'm not good with accents. Sometimes I do accents by The entire accident. works of Josephus in Greek. Old issues of medical journals. Sounds incredibly boring. Let's head in here. You there, Harv? Okay, so Harvey not there. was one of them. No, they're all out in the quad. Well, I guess it was actually me who told her to knock on the door. It's a fuse box. Uh-huh. I'll probably come in handy later. I can't do anything with it now. Okay, let's head down, down, down. I guess it's time to go to the quad. And talk to the squad. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, never mind. Do 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 no that way. <laughs> what is, it, what is, it, is there music here? I think there's music. I think I turned off the music for multiple reasons. One, I don't really like music in games, and two, copyright issues might be avoided. Oh, I can climb in through here. I guess those are for ventilation or odor control. But why would I want to go in there? That's Helena's room. I am Helena, so I guess I, I can go then. Go in there. But I mean, I'm not Helena. I'm just pretending to be. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bald Man. Balding. 